boys and girls, it's Miss Lisa, the art teacher. How are you? Hi everyone, how are we all doing today? Are you all ready for the holidays that are coming up? There's so many of them and we're gonna have so much fun. I'm so excited about the holidays, but you know what else I'm more excited about? I'm more excited about seeing some snow. I wanna make a snowman. I wanna throw a snowball and I wanna feel the cold on my face. What do you think? You excited about the snow? I really am. So I thought it would be a really cute idea if we made snow globes because I love snow just so much. So I sent each of you everything you're gonna to need to make a snow globe. We're gonna have a snowman inside of our snow globe because I love building snowman. Have you ever made a snowman? Have you ever sat in the snow? Have you ever felt the cold on your face? Those are all such wonderful things and I hope you get a chance to experience each and every one of them. So, in our snow globe, our snowman is going to be lit by the moonlight. So he's gonna have a little bit of a shadow and a cast shadow. So you're gonna have to make that. But it's not gonna be hard, don't worry. And I'm here to help you, so not to worry. So, I'm gonna bring you down to my table so you can see everything that I have here, which is everything that you should have either while you're in class or at home. I packed it all for you, not to worry. So let me get my helping hand. I don't know if y'all remember him. He grew some eyes. He's more alive now. Hi kids. He's gonna help bring the screen down so you can see what I'm doing at my table. So come on down and I'll see you in a minute. All right, so here's my table of art. And everything that you see here is everything that you're going to be sent home. You're gonna get this clear plastic. I don't know if you can see it, it's shimmering in the light. That's gonna go with this paper plate I sent you. It's going to, we're gonna glue it right on top to create the illusion of our snow globe. You're also gonna get a little yellow piece of paper and a little brown piece of paper. The brown paper is going to act as the base of our snow globe and we're gonna cut it to shape, to make sure it fits. And the yellow is gonna act as a name tag on our snow globe. And this is our snow globe, the snowman in the snow, and it shows you these dashed lines. This is where we need to cut because this whole part that you see, the snowman and the snowdrift, are what's going to be inside our snow globe. This is the base of the snow globe, the brown part where our paper is, and this is where the yellow is going to be. I also put in a bottle cap. You're probably wondering why I have a bottle cap. And you'll see as we go along. You're going to need a few things of your own. Oh, I also want to give you some shiny silver stars to put into the snow globe. You're going to need either crayons, markers, or colored pencils, anything you have, because we want to make a carrot nose, we want to make some coal eyes, and we're going to create our shadow with a nice blue pencil, or even a gray pencil. And we need to paint the background of our snow globe, which is going to be a nice, beautiful blue. Let me bring this down a little bit more. So you'll need some watercolors to paint your snow globe. Let me open up mine. They've been sitting for a while, so I've got to wake them up. And how do we wake up our watercolors? With water, that's right. So let me wake up my watercolors with my water. And the first thing we want to do is we want to paint our paper plate because we have to give that time to dry. Here we go. Here's my blue sky, which is actually the evening sky, but because it's cold out, we use the color blue because it kind of represents the chilliness of the outdoors. And this doesn't necessarily have to be a moonbeam shining down on our, snow, our snowman. It could be the sun sort of at dusk or dawn or whichever. And, uh, we're going to create our shadow, whether it's the moonlight or the sunlight that's creating the shadow on our snowman. So I'm just painting around my paper plate and you should be doing the same. Try not to make it too wet because we want it to dry enough time when by the time we're done making our snowman and our name plates. Ugh. This is very therapeutic. I love painting. I don't know about you. Here we go. I love this color blue that's in my palette as well. 
some of sometimes my watercolors come out like a nice rich dark blue this is almost like a turquoise blue it's very pretty looks more like the ocean than it does my sky but it does look like a winter sky do you ever feel blue when you look at the cold like I see blue when I look at cold think of ice cubes I think of red and orange when I think of the Sun and the heat even yellow but I think of blue when I think of the cold how about you do you think of blue when you think of the cold there we go okay I'm almost done painting my paper plate so I'm gonna move on to my next step but let me just clean out my brush and let it put it away close my palette I'll put that away and I'm just gonna put my paper plate over to the side so it dries now remember I was telling you that this is the inside of our globe so what we need to do is we want to draw our carrot nose and a carrot nose is like a triangle a long thin triangle that's what a carrot's like so I put a little carrot nose on him and I'm going to give him two eyes black for the charcoal eyes then I'm going to use my blue pencil here and I'm imagining that the Sun or the moon is shining on my snowman from this direction which is creating a shadow that falls behind him. So I'm going to go down to this bottom circle that we I drew here. I'm going to make a nice dark line and then I'm going to add a little shadow. Color this in a little bit. I'm going to go right below the next level of my sh my, pump my pumpkin. I'm calling him a pumpkin. <laughs> my snowman. And this whole side of him, I'm just going to color in to make it look like he's got a shadow on this whole side of his body. You see how I did that? So the moon or the sun is shining on my, my snowman from this direction. Here we go. So now the next thing that I would like to do is I need to cut him out. So I have dashed lines all around him to cut out. So if you're ready, let's cut out our snowman. Now I like to divide this in two pieces. It makes it easier for me to cut. So I'm going to separate the bottom half from the top half. So now I'm just working with this piece. Okay? And here we go. And if you can't cut and you need help, please have somebody help you. It's always fun to have help. Two heads are better than one. Teamwork is the best work, I always say. And don't worry about being perfect. We like all the changes the, the imperfections they make everything so much more interesting and even more beautiful to look at I'll just cut that out of the way I'm almost done with mine okay I'm almost done now I just gotta get the rest of the snow drift trim this a little bit more Okay, so I have my snowman all set and ready. He looks like he's popping off the, out, you know, he looks a little three-dimensional, doesn't he, with this shadow? I think he does. And what's going to happen is we're going to glue him to the plate when it's dry. But I'm not going to do that yet because the plate's not dry. So I'm going to put that to the side also. I'm going to throw this scrap paper away that I'm done with. I need to bring this up because it seems like you're only getting a little part of what I'm doing. So how's that? Better? Okay. All right. Throw this in the garbage. <laughs> okay. Now we have these two pieces here. Let's 
separate them. Yeah, separate them just by cutting, okay? This little piece is going to be like the name tag, and that's going to go right on the yellow paper. So what I like to do is I like to just place it on top. This you do whatever you find easiest. You could either cut this out first, trace it on the yellow paper, and then cut the cut it out again on the yellow paper. That's a lot of effort. So what I like to do is just put the template right on top of my yellow paper. And I'm going to cut that side. Then I'm going to cut this side. I'm holding the yellow paper at the same time. Bottom part. And the top part. So now I could actually leave it like this. I don't even have to put the little fancy edges if I don't want to. But I think I will. So I'm going to put them together again. And then I'm going to cut these little corners. They have a little curve on the corner. Not just a little straight straight edge. It's got just a little curvy. Makes it look a little bit fancier. Okay, so now this will be my nameplate. This will go on the brown paper. So I'll leave this right here for now. And let me throw all these scraps away. I like to work in a clean area. It's a lot easier. Okay, this is the base of our snow globe. And that's what you're going to use the brown paper for. So again, I like to hold it in this together and then just cut once. Using this as my template, I just follow it. I don't worry about being perfect either. If it moves or shifts, I don't mind. Or if I cut it too short like I just did, I don't mind. Now I cut this little, this is the important part right here because this is where the globe is going to sit on this pedestal. There we go. Okay, so now I take away the white paper, and look at that. How beautiful is that? So we have the brown part, which is going to be the pedestal. I'm going to put away all these scraps now, get them out of the way. I'm going to get my glue stick out, because what I need to do now is glue my nameplate onto the pedestal. How's that look right there? Does that look pretty even? So I'm going to take it, I'm going to use a glue stick for this, but I'm going to use liquid glue later for the rest of our project. Glue the back of my nameplate and stick it on right there. What do you think? Almost looks like a pot of gold, doesn't it? But it's not. So I'm going to take one of my pencils, I'm going to use the black one, and I'm going to write my name. And you could do the same on yours. This is Miss Lisa, the art teacher. L-I-S-A, because I'm making my snow globe. Okay, now let's check my plate. Oh, it's nice and dry. It's ready. All right, so now, remember I was telling you about that bottle cap? It's almost time for us to use him now. What I'd like to do first is I'd like to take my snowman, and I want to glue him on first. And we're going to glue him on to the very edge of our paper plate. You see how Miss Lisa has this right here on the very edge? But there's a possibility that he might not stand up as tall as we'd like. So that's where this bottle cap comes in. I'm going to glue it on the paper plate right behind his middle circle of his body. You're not going to see it, but it'll help keep him standing up off of the paper plate. So first I'm going to glue my snowman on. So let me get out my liquid glue. I have some liquid glue right here. And I'm going to glue just the bottom edge from here to here. I don't need to glue all the way around, just the part that's going to lay on the, pa on the paper plate. So let's get my glue coming down. And I'm just going to glue, whoops, is it open? Yeah. Liquid glue seems to work best for this part of the project. Okay, so now I've glued the very edge. And now I'm going to stick my snowman on the very edge. Okay. 
see how he's sitting right on the edge but you see how he's laying down on the background I want him back I want him to stand up off the background like that so that's why I'm going to take this bottle cap and I'm going to glue it right into I'm going to glue it right onto my paper plate oops doesn't matter if you do it up or down just so long as he has this behind him to help make him stand I'm going to use the flat part to glue down onto the plate. Remember, I'm going right behind the middle circle to help make my snowman stand up straight. So you see this? You can see how I could stick my finger under here, but when I put him forward, it looks like he's three-dimensional because he's popping off of the back of the paper plate. So far, so good. How exciting, right? All right, now I'm going to go back to my glue stick because I'm going to put some of my stars in the sky. You all have some stars. Some of you have five, some of you have seven. I just threw a bunch into your bag. And I'm just going to put some glue down in a bunch of different spots to give it an evening sky with my stars. So I'm placing some glue down on my paper plate. And then I'm going to take one star at a time and stick it in, stick it into the glue on my paper plate to give my snowman an evening sky. Some up on the top, some down a little lower. Put them wherever you think it looks best. One more right here would look nice. See, I have some stars in my sky. How pretty does that look? Okay. Now, you each have this clear piece of plastic. This now needs to be glued right over the snow globe. Just like the snowman is laying on top, we're going to make this. Make sure it's nice and clean before you put it on. Mine has a lot of dust on it. I guess my table's dusty, huh? All right, again, I'm going to use my liquid glue, and I'm only going to glue the edges of my paper plate. That's the only part I need to glue. And I'm going to go right over this snow drift too. The snow and the edge of my paper plate with my liquid glue. And let's hope I have enough to finish this. Whew. My other thing of glue is downstairs. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Looking good. It's going. Get every spot. Don't leave any spots because if you do, then your plastic will come off at that spot. And we want this plastic to cover our whole snow globe. Close this up. Let's lay this right on top. They should match perfect, if not a little bigger than you need. And if that's the case, if it's a little bigger, you can always trim it when it dries. Don't try to trim it when it's wet. Now, before you seal this whole globe up, if you want to grab some dried rice and throw it in, this way you could shake your globe and it'll come up. I tried it with the stars and it worked. And that was pretty cool. But our snow globes are just pretty much going to look good. We're not going to really have snow in them. And the last piece is our pedestal. And our pedestal is going to go right at the bottom, which is the base of our snow globe. Oh no! Guess what I forgot? Oh, I forgot my snowman's arms. That's what we were using the extra brown paper for. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to lift up my plastic. I'm going to put it right side up so I don't get it all sticky gooey. And I'm going to really fast cut some brown paper from my leftover scraps. Two stick-like arms. Not too long. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You know what? You see, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. i got to stick this arm's a little long. <laughs> Now my hands are all stuck with glue. I'm sorry. 
We gotta give him, although I still thought he looked kind of nice without arms, but we're gonna give him some arms. Some brown, use some brown scrap from the, the paper we used for the pedestal. Come on, glue, don't fail me now. Hang in there, guys. Sorry, I forgot about this part. Don't need a lot, just a little bit of glue. Ugh. There we go, there's a dot and there's a dot. Okay, let me get my branch ready. You know how snowman arms are. They're just old branches that you find on the ground. Nothing important. So here's one. It's a little long. Let me cut it down a little bit. Here's one from here for that side. And then I'll give him another arm on this side. It doesn't have to be fingers or anything. There we go. Now I'm going to take my plastic back and put it right back on, even though it's covered in glue. Ah! Okay. It's not terrible. We, we saved it. Okay. So now what I need to do is glue the bottom so we can put our nameplate on. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry we forgot about his arms. But we fixed it. We fixed it before it was too late. And now we're going to put our nameplate on. Let's see. How much do I have to glue? I only have to glue from here to here. I really like this project. I think it's very pretty. It gives me that nice feeling that winter's here and the snow's going to be coming down soon. And there we go. What do you think? I mean, mine says Lisa, but yours, put your name on. And you can maybe hang it up, put it on your refrigerator, just pin it to the window. I love it. I'm going to bring you back up so I can talk to you. So what do you think? Did you have fun doing that? Crazy Miss Lisa, almost forgot to give him arms, but all in all, I think it's a beautiful snowman in a snow globe. So I hope you enjoyed this as well as I did, as much as I did. I wish we were together doing it. I'd have more fun. I wish I could see you as I'm talking to you. That would be even better fun. But until we get together again, I'll continue making these, these videos for you to watch and learn how to make nice arts and crafts and different things, okay? Like snow globes. I think it's pretty nice. Okay. Listen, you guys be good. And take time to relax. Meditate. You know what that is? Meditate is when you just go, hum. I don't meditate. I don't even know what that is. But a lot of people do that. It makes them feel better. You know what makes me feel better? Doing art. That always makes me feel better. It makes me smile. Puts me in a good mood. Being with you makes me happy, puts me in a good mood. So if you have a chance to maybe hang out with your family members and make a snow globe with them, that would be really fun. Or what else could we do? Talk on the phone with somebody. Say, hi, I'm Aunt Martha, how are you? And get ready for the holidays. That's the best part. We're getting ready for holidays. Let me see, what do we have? We got Hanukkah's coming up. Dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. I love that song. And then we have Christmas coming up. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. And then we have Kwanzaa. Although I don't know any songs for that. I have to learn a song. And what else do we have? Hmm. Well, I'm sure there's other holidays. I don't know all of them. Oh, there's a beautiful tradition in Mexico. Las Posadas. It's all about the poinsettia plant. That's a beautiful plant. You know that red one? It's always outdoor. And oh, there's one hanging on my bulletin board. Yes. So anyway, I'll talk to you next week. We still got more time before the holidays and we have no school for another break. So I'll see you next week. Be good. Be happy. Keep art in your life. And you'll always be smiling. That's all I could say. So until I see you again, this is Miss Lisa saying ciao for now from my table of art. And be ready for next week. I got something else planned, okay? Bye, guys. Bye. I miss you.